Welcome to 10 Minute Monday. Today I'm going to show you how to create one Facebook cover photo that looks great on both desktop and mobile. My customer asked me for help with his Facebook header. Tony had made his image header the exact size that Facebook recommended for desktop, which was 820 pixels by 312 pixels but it looks stretched and out of proportion. So he said, how can I make it look better? So you can see on the right hand side that I have made it better by making it a different size. Because when Facebook gives you the dimensions for your header, in this case it says, okay, your header is going to display at 820 by 312 on desktop. You'd think you would make your image that size, but on the contrary, you really don't. And this is where most people get tripped up because what you need to do, you need to make your header the size that looks great for mobile. And that's why I'm giving you this template. It's from Louise M. I found this template online and it is, I've used it time and again and it just works. And I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you first how I do it in Photoshop and then I'm going to show you how to do it in Canva because I know most people don't have Photoshop. So in Photoshop the first thing I do is I make a document that is the size of the template and I just want to show you that the document is sized 820 by 461 and that's because Louise's template is 820 by 461. As you can see, the whole area is 820 by 461, whereas the lighter color purple is what you see on desktop. She has figured this out, and I give her all the credit. And so the next thing I did, I uploaded Tony's logo. And I also paid very close attention to where the dark purple ended and the light purple began because I wanted to make sure that I got the logo not only centered but that I didn't cut off the top, I didn't cut off the bottom. But as you can see that has created yet another problem because there's all this space and you really can't leave the logo at this size. It has to fill up the entire space. So what I did next was I put a background layer in. This then gave me the logo that I needed, that Tony wanted to use for his header, at the size that would look great on both mobile and also for his desktop. So now I'm going to head over to Canva and show you how you would create this in Canva. So when you log into your free Canva account or your, your paid Canva account, you'll see on the left hand side under your name there's this aqua button called create a design and that's the first place you're going to go because you want to first create the canvas to the exact dimensions that you need it. So I'll hit create a design and then custom dimensions and this is where I'm going to add in by hand the dimensions 820 by 461 and then click create a design and once I do that you'll see that I have the the canvas and I know it's the right size because it says 820 by 461 and I am going to go to my uploads folder and this is where I have already uploaded first the template by Louise so when I click on it once it comes over to the right hand side I resize it or size it to fit the space now and you can see it just sizes perfectly and then I'm going to click once on what Tony I'm calling it his logo but this is what he wants for his header image and I'm going to resize this and unlike in Photoshop and it's possible just because I don't use Canva enough I can't seem to find the um, the guidelines to add in. So I'm just doing this visually. As I start to pull it over, it tells me where the center is. I'm thinking, well, this looks like it is above, it is below rather the darker purple line. So so this is this is going to work well for him because it is falling within this light purple space. But of course what's not working is that there's a lot of purple that is shown. So the next thing I need to do once I decide uh, that I have it in the right position. I'm going to then delete this purple layer and instead I'm going to now put in a background 
layer. So when you click on the word background, up will come this area here, and you come, you search the backgrounds, and I will choose this, uh, this little logo here. It looks like a paint palette. I'm going to choose new color, but I'm going to choose something that's not quite black and not quite gray by just moving this bar over, and I'll show you why. Because if I were to click black, you can see that the black does show up quite prominently, and we don't want to have that much of a difference in the background of the logo. So I will click on New Color, and I'll just adjust this a little bit until I get the look that I want. And I think that looks pretty great right there. Look at that. That's right there. You can't even see the line. So that's where I'm going to leave it for now. Thank you for joining me today on 10 Minute Monday. And if you are viewing this video from my website or from YouTube and you would like to come to my free trainings, please go on my website, uh, fieldsgraphicdesign.com, fill out the form at the top of the page, and that will get you onto my list so that I can invite you to join me on Mondays when my trainings are live. And you'll also get a free resource for great photography that can be used on your website or for any project, and these are free images. When you join me, you'll also be able to ask me a question on 10 Minute Monday, either about the training that I've just given or even on your own website. So I hope to see you on my next 10 Minute Monday. Bye for now.